We're going to be covering the basic anatomy, biomechanics, how to identify the hamstring issues, and how to effectively stretch it. Today we'll be addressing three main components of the equine hamstring complex, bicep femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. We'll be diving into further detail later for those of you wanting a little more in-depth review. The function of the hamstring complex is to extend the hips and retract the hind end, so these are your speed and propulsion muscles. This is a group of the hamstring muscles. There's three of them. In blue is the biceps femoris, in pink is the semitendinosus, and then in green on the inside is the semimembranosus. The biceps femoris comes from the bottom of the ischial tuber, which is this big butt bone right here, and then wraps around the side of the leg to insert on the pearl fascia. This is the connective tissue that wraps around the bottom of the leg here. The semitendinosus comes from the top of the sacrum, wraps down around the back of the leg as well, and then inserts on this big calcanean tendon. This is like the Achilles tendon in people. So it inserts there and then onto the inside of the tibia. The semimembranosus, which is this big medial muscle here, comes from the top of the tail head, once again goes around the back of the leg, and then inserts on the front and inside muscles will extend the hip and push the body forward. When the hamstring becomes overly tight and shortened, it puts stress on the hocks and pelvis, which can lead to abnormal wear and tear and accelerate degeneration. From a chiropractic standpoint, overly tight hamstrings can lead to sacral restrictions, pain, tension, or malpositions. Have you ever noticed a horse that holds its tail to one side? It's usually a sacral restriction. It also restricts the pelvis from moving in a normal range of motion. So what will you see under saddle? Short striding in the hind, lack of propulsion, difficulty engaging the hind end, and this can happen on both sides or just one side, and will present with difficulty cantering on one lead or jumping off to one side. So what are the causes? Improper training, lack of stretching, slips leading to tears in the hamstrings, and improper shoeing are all causes, which is why we recommend a balance to effect x-rays twice a year. So to do the hamstring stretch, I'm going to ask her to pick up her hind leg. I want her to keep most of the weight of her leg in my hand. I'm going to gently bring it forward toward her front leg here. And the goal is to get her to drop her heel. She does have tight hamstrings, so we're working on this with her. Good girl. Good girl. And just keep asking. To strengthen the hamstrings, we recommend doing longer striding ground pulls and hill work. Watching guys, don't forget to like the video, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe below.